Hello, wonderful people, once again, welcome to Agiotech. Today, so I'm going to show you how you can plan your project using just Excel. So, we're going to build this using a Gantt chart. So, this is actually very, very interactive. You can see we have the tax, the start date, the end date, the duration, and the status. Whether it's going to be completed or pending. So, when we change this, you can easily change the status from pending to completed. So, if I change this, it's going to update accordingly and then the bar is going to change to green color okay if we change it back to what pending it's going to update it to red if we change the duration basically this is starting from the 4th september and then it's going to end on the 10th september as you can see so that status is going to the duration seven days if i change this to let's say nine days it's going to update the bar accordingly so this is basically very very interactive remember to hit this like remember to hit the like button if you enjoy this tutorial remember to also subscribe if you are new to this channel and don't forget to watch this video to the end and then i'm also going to show you at the end of this video how you can get this file this template and then you can customize it and it's going to work for you so this is basically what we're going to build in this particular tutorial i'm going to do everything step by step as a beginner when you are familiar with any part of the project you can just skip that part and then you can see how i'm going to build this and in the next few minutes i'm going to do this and then you see how this is going to work thank you so much and stay tuned as we build this project together also so i've opened a very complete worksheet over here this is where we're going to build our project and we want to first set up our tax start date end date and then the duration and as well as the status so let's just go ahead and then we can type that over here okay so i'm going to say tax and then i'm going to have my start date so i'm going to have my start date i'm going to have my end date and i'm going to also have my status so basically if you can see our main project this is all we have okay we also need our duration as well so we need our duration before our status okay so this is what we have now and the tax we have up to 11 tax over here. you can do as much as you want so let me just get up to 11 so type 2 and i don't need to type everything just select the 2 and then drag it down until we get what 11. okay so this is what we have i need to at least enlarge my cells at least so that i can see everything visible so i'll select the entire cell and then just expand this cell a bit it's too much and then i'll open the column as well okay so for the column i'm just going to reduce where i have my tax and then my start dates i'm going to start from the first of september and that's it so the first tax is starting and then let's say it's going to end on on the third so i'm going to say third september this week so i'm going to assume my second tax is going to start is so I'm going to assume my second tax will start from the 4th, 4th of September. That's all. I don't need to type everything manually again up to 11th. I just select, I'm just going to select the two, drag it down this way, and then automatically I'm going to get it for the rest. And I'm going to say the fourth, the second tax is going to start from 4th and then end on the 6th of September. So I'm going to type six like this, 6 September. I'll select the two and then drag this down and that's all so what i'm going to do is that for the duration i'm just going to enter random figures even though i have some figures over here i'm going to show you how this can you can easily change this any way you want so i'm going to just specify my duration just get random figures for the duration of the project not in any order just type in any number you want for the duration okay so that is that we also need to get we also need to give the status of our project so let me just type completed for now but we're going to validate this column where we have just two options whether it's going to be completed or pending so let's go ahead and then try and then validate this part of this so let's select up to this stage and we'll go to data and we'll go to what data validation so we click over here and then from this list we're going to select 
we're going to select list and then we're going to type completed and i'll bring comma and i also type what pending so this is the two options we have over here okay so we can select either pending or completed from the list over here so we actually validated this column and then the next thing we need to do is also we need to give give our date so let's follow what we have over here so we're going to have from september all the way to 3rd october so we can see our project is ending on the 3rd of october so i'm just going to put the same process type in my date september here that is all and then i'm just going to drag it until i get to 4th 3rd october i'll drag it all the way to the right okay so i'll end on the 3rd of october okay so that is it we are okay with what we have so far but i've made some a bit of alignment i've changed my title a bit of the date so i'm just going to do the same format and i'll right click over here and go to what format source so i'll click on format source and i'll go to alignment and i'm going to change the orientation to 90 degrees okay so that is that my cell space is, is very small that is why i'm seeing this hash but i just have to expand it and then i'll see everything as i want and i'm going to format my source over here so within the alignment i'll change it to middle align and then center align and i'll bold in the entire column i believe selecting the entire from the tax all the way to the date will be the best okay so we end this over here and then let me change this one to somewhere around i think 12 is okay and my font is okay for me so it's middle and center line and that is that i believe that is okay and i can just give a light color to the background i have some color for the background and you can give any color at all you want i'll go to my paint bucket and then select any color okay so let me just go with it in a color and i'm actually going to close this space and select everything again and then just close down this cells yeah i believe it's okay this way and the rest i only need to open this part of my source a bit i only need to open this once a bit and i think that is okay for now so we've been able to set up our table up to this stage and we're going to create our formula to be able to at least give update to whatever we're going to have over here because we need to generate these bars over here to be able to calculate the duration for our projects we also need to give the title for this project as well so project planning with gun chart and i'm going to select and then make this part of my document and just go to mesh center and i'll type type everything in class project planning with gun chart that's all and i need to increase the font to somewhere around 10 20 use middle and center line and then i'll bolden this okay so we've been able to adjust this make this customization i'm going to apply a border to my entire project up to this stage so i'll go to my phone group go to border and i'm only only going to use the outside border for now and we're going to now specify our formula so i want to create a formula where we've been able to we'll be able to get the duration of this project so I'm going to use the if statement and I'm going to say equal to if so I'll select if and I'm going to say and that is it what we need to do first is to select our date from this column and this date over here the column the row is not going to change but the column is going to be what the column will change so I'm going to add a dollar sign in between this and I'll say greater or equal to our start date and our start date is i'm going to freeze our start date because it's not going to change our start date is not going to change so i'll freeze that by adding a dollar before that 
then I'll bring comma. The next thing I'm going to do is to select my start date again, select my date again, and do the same thing. I'm going to provide the logic over here, the same thing again, and this time I'm going to say less than or equal to my end date. So these are the two categories we want, and I need to phrase this as well because my date, my end date will not change. Okay, and lastly, I just close this. And if this end statement is true, then it's going to give you my status. So my status will show up and I'm going to phrase that one as well. I'm going to phrase my status as well. And comma, if there's nothing is entered, if nothing is selected, then I'll just leave that place blank. I'm going to leave that, that place blank, okay? And then I'll hit enter. So you can see right now, I'm getting what? I'm getting completed over here. As you can see for this project because I've selected projects I've selected completed if I change pending it will be updated accordingly okay so it's, it's updating as we can see so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this formula to the entire table I'll select it down up to this stage and I can drag up to this stage okay so this is it our project is basically working and i've not select any update for the rest of my table so you can see it shows that if i come here and i select any status it will be updated accordingly so everything is working up to this stage all we need right now is to add a root to this so i'm going to select this particular range i'll select this range Remember to subscribe and then don't forget to turn on the notification bell if you are new to this channel and also hit the like button if you enjoy this tutorial. So I'll select it up to this stage, I'll select this range and I'm going to go to conditional formatting. If I go to conditional formatting, I'll go to my rules and I'm going to set a rule. So I'm going to say format only source that contains. So I'll select here and then if, the, if it's equal to, I'm going to select equal to so if the status is equal to completed completed i'm going to give a color so i'm going to give a light green color to this and i'll click ok so you can see it's already giving me the color as you can see it's highlighted but i need to get give another condition again i'm going to give the second condition so my second condition is also going to be new rules and then I'll go to the same process and I say equal to if this is equal to pending then I'll also give a red color for that so I'll select red and then click on this so if I select pending from any of this list it will update it accordingly so our project up to this stage is working perfectly as expected okay but we want to do something over here once we change the duration okay i believe i have to format this and then i'm going to format this and then remove basically i don't want my source my grid line to show so i'm going to remove my grid line by going to view and then uncheck grid lines and then this is actually what i have up to this stage okay but i don't want there's one thing i don't want to do I don't want to show. I don't want the completer to show. I just want the bar. So with our final project, you can see only the bars are showing within, and we are not saying completed or anything. Just the bar, the green showing completed, the red showing what? Pending. So that is what I want to do. I want to do the same thing up to this stage. So all I need to do is to select this range again. I'll select this range, and I'll right click and go to what? Format cells. If I go to format cells, what I need to do is to go to numbers and a custom. And the way I have general, I'll clear that and put semicolon three times and click on OK. That is all. So you can see our write up is no more showing over here, but it's always going to show our bar. But I want a situation where if I enter seven, my duration should go accordingly and then it should update that for me. Okay. So in order for us to do that, we're going to also give another formula. So we're going to click on the end date. We'll click on the end date and I'll type equal to and then I'll select my start date plus my duration minus what one when I do this I'm just going to drag this formula to have to apply to the rest and that's all you can see it's already updating my 
chart and then it's become more interactive so if i change this to let's say nine the duration is going to update it up to nine okay so this is basically all we want up to this stage and everything is working perfectly remember to hit the like button remember to hit the like button if you enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any challenge i'm ready to assist you okay so we have everything up to this stage we just have to do some bit of modification and then we are good to go so at the pending i'm going to select this and then i'm also going to add the conditional formatting again so i'm going to say new rules and i'm going to do the same process again i'm going to say if it's equal to completed then i'm going to give a red background for that sorry completed so i'm going to give green as you can see and the same process again if it's pending then i'm going to give red so i'm going to say equal to pending then i'm going to give a red color okay so if i click ok anywhere i see pen then i'm going to see a red color well, we've been able to build this project up to this stage and i believe all is well if you don't understand anything leave it at the comment section and then i'm going to attend to you i really don't want the board again and that is it so we've been able to build this project to this stage and i believe everything is good and expected if i come here and i select any of the status as well remember within our project if nothing is emptied if nothing is selected then if i click over you can see our last part of our, our function is saying if nothing is selected leave it empty that's why we can see most of our cells empty now nothing is showing once nothing is entered you will not see anything displayed the bar will not be displayed so let me select pending and it's going to give my bar and it's going to give the duration so this duration is going to be just three days and it's between what seven to nine and you can see from our day to that it's just showing as we want it so i'm going to select completed again and it's going to display the bar accordingly so this is very interactive dashboard okay so i'm just going to add some bit of colors and we are good to go so this project is it's basically going to assist you a lot i'm going to leave the file at the comment section and then i'm going to leave the file in the description and i'll show you how you can get this file okay so let's try and complete this project and then we see how this can assist us in anything we do so i'll go back here and then select another one let me say pending and if i change the duration let's say from two to let's say eight you can see the bar is going to be updated accordingly i'll come down here and then select completed and it's giving me the bar so this project actually we've been able to build this and it's very, very interactive up to this stage and i can give some borders again let me just supply border just outside this project yeah before that i don't want to display this bar so let me first select no borders and then apply it again i'll say what no borders and then i'll go back and select outside borders okay and over here let me just apply some background color to this so i'll go to font and select a color for the background i'm going to select just light green this way and that is it our project is almost done up to this stage and everything is going unexpected so we can update this anytime we want when once i click on completed the bar will show if i change the duration if I reduce the duration from seven to four it will update my bar as well you can update my bar and then you can see everything is working if i come down here that is on the from 25th september to first first october the duration for the project is seven days in case i select pending and i change the duration to maybe around 10 it's going to update that for me you can see so that is going to end on the fourth okay so this is basically going to update and then make everything work for us as we want okay so let me just change this back to let's say seven and then it to update that for us i'll come down here and also select pending and maybe the last part i'm going to select okay so the project ends over here our project actually ends over here so i believe my border i've selected my border beyond this so let me go back again select the entire project go back no border and this time around i'll select up to this stage 
I'll select up to this stage and then I'll add outside bodies. Okay, and I'm gonna remove this background color as well. No fill and that is it. So we've been able to update our project, build this project up to this stage. Everything is working as expected. For the colors, it's, a, it's your own choice. The color you want to use, you can go ahead and then do that. If I want to apply a green color to this, I'll just go ahead and then give a light gown or a green color to this. And then maybe I can change the font to white. And as you can see that everything is showing maybe a bit better. And the color we've given to this, our bars as well. If you want to update it and make it deeper, I think the red is very deep. We can change that one to a deeper green color for the bar you can easily do that okay so if i go and then i go back and then i go to the rules again and then i change this one to equal completed and the format and i change it to let's say dark green i click ok that is going to update it for us so we've changed our data we've updated everything and anytime we make any change on this is going to work the duration and every other thing so thank you so much for watching this video up to this stage i believe you are enjoying this tutorial and if you really like this remember to subscribe and then also sus and also hit the like button okay so our project is basically on track and we've been able to build this up to this stage and remember to so we are done with this project and it took us just a few minutes to be able to build this interactive dashboard for projects planning with Gunchat. Thank you so much. And to like come your way another time, remember to hit the like button. And also subscribe if you are new to the channel. So you don't miss any of my upcoming tutorial. Till I come your way another time. Bye bye.